Hi everyone, we're going to a comic book store right now. We're gonna ask and see if they will allow us to record inside the store, because I'm not sure if they will. So bear with us as we're gonna ask maybe management or someone in there, because I don't want to get kicked out. Just because I have the camera and all the gear on me, I don't want to look suspicious. So let's go find out. Unfortunately, when we arrived to this comic book store, it was not the comic book store we were looking for. They did have a lot of comics, a lot of magazines, but not a lot of collectibles. They had a lot of vintage cards and cups and very few pops here and there, but this was all they had in their store concerning collectibles and we were looking for toys. But overall, I mean, if you're a collector of vintage cards and you know little things from tv shows i think this will be the store for you now this is a pop my husband bought me at that comic book store now this pop was about 12 dollars at the time i did not have it in my collection i think it's a cute little bullpex to have from the last jedi so why not add it into my collection okay everyone we just arrived to top cuts comics and they did allow us to record. I didn't ask in the previous store because I was a little bit too embarrassed, but since it's okay with them, we're gonna go ahead inside and see what we can find. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Yeah, they have a lot of DC, MCU. So it's pretty cool. Look what my son found. Let me see, Nemo. What did you find? Show, show everybody. How much is that? Huh? Oh. Hey, I do. Okay. I can't reach. Reach one. No, you can only get one. Oh, they have the 40 year anniversary. That's actually not bad. $35. They have some 40 year anniversary carded toys. Wow, they have a lot of stuff here, which is really good. So if you guys are looking for some figures here in Chicago, they have a lot of cool toys or collectibles. They have the Stranger Things cast. Wow, I've never seen these before. Ooh, they have the Power Rangers. Look, babe. They have the Power Rangers uh, sword. And they have some of the Star Wars toys. Black Series. Uh, these are full price though. They have Obi-Wan, Mascanada. There you go. I'm not really looking for one in particular, but that's cool. They have. Um, different Star Wars stuff. And obviously they have some Power Rangers. Okay, let's see what we can find. Rick and Morty stuff. Nice rebellion. That's so hundred bucks, that's not bad. Look at the shirts. Nice up. This comic book store had a little bit of everything. They had some comics, they had magazines, but also role-playing games. And of course they had pops. MCU pops, they had Disney pops, they had pops from TV shows. Unfortunately, I don't collect anything but Star Wars, but it was really nice to see different kinds of pops. I was gonna pick up this bubble sword, but I didn't because I didn't wanna collect Pokemon or get hooked into Pokemon pops. Princess Leia, yeah, we already have this one, we already have this Yoda. Darth Vader. This is the infamous pop that I got from that place, if you guys remember, and it came out um, defected. Which is now what, like, I think it's 
but it's not worth ten dollars i think right now it's uh, about eight dollars maybe um pop price guide oh very cool oh look they have this charmander i'm a pokemon fan guys i played pokemon yellow most of my childhood look they have Palpatine. Krennic, which we have those already. Okay, which was holy cow. Those $74. That's not bad. Best trooper, those are not bad at all. Look at those. We have those at home. Yeah, we have those. those. No. How much is that? That was one on there. Oh, we have these too. Do we? Yeah. No, we, is it them or them? We have the original Sun Troopers. Oh, so we don't have them? I feel like we do. We do. If not, we have these in metal. I know metal? Okay. Yeah, we have the metal ones, the Elite Series. Oh. This one looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. 140, that's a lot of money. The Emba. I wish I knew how to play this game. Like the role playing game. Like it, will be it is. Look at that ship. It's $90. It's $15 for the little ships. Holy cow. And that's the map, I think, right? Yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. Holy cow. Look at this. That's. I think those are the figures. Yeah. They brought them down. That's cool. 300 dollars that's cool. So we just got out from Top Cuts Comics and what did you think about the comic book store overall, babe? Compared to other comic book stores that we've been to, the prices here were pretty reasonable. Um, it's obvious that they do have to make a profit on some of the stuff, but it's a lot better price than most comic book stores that we've been to before. Some items were actually well priced under what the actual retailers pricing them at. Um, there was a Stormtrooper helmet that we saw on first order. Yeah. I believe they have it for 300 bucks and Anovos itself sells it for 350 starting price. And you'll probably have to wait a couple months to get that if you order from Anovos. Um, meanwhile, you would just walk out the store with this one right here, which it looked like it was in great condition. And finally, we're going to be here at Mr. Wayne's outside of Chicago. And I love the fact that they have a little sign on the store with the time so you can see. So we're going to go inside and check it out and see what we can find. Now, in Mr. Wayne's, they had a big collection of Star Wars vintage toys. As you can see here from this footage, they had a corner with pops vintage stuff and even current stuff there is in our Star Wars universe so this was a great place almost like a, a grail of a place a grail of a comic book to stop by and see what they had and I fell in love with everything you see here I mean this is a collector's dream place to stop by and purchase your collectibles so if you are in the Chicago area I cannot stress enough to stop by Mr. Wayne's comic book store and pick up some of these stuff. Their pricing was on par and was very fairly priced for a lot of these vintage uh, collectibles. And not only did they have collectibles, but they had also other stuff in the store worth buying if, if you're into, I guess, a DC, Marvel, or any, you know, TV shows. They had quite a few stuff regarding um, those things that maybe you might have a hard time finding so overall this was a great place I like the the person that was working on the counter I even forgot his name but he was very attentive he asked me what other Star Wars stuff I was collecting and if he if, if I wanted to he could find it for me uh, if I wanted to give him my contact number so we did exchange numbers and you know it seems to me like they're very customer oriented because he did say hey if you're looking for something let me know i'll find it for you and i'll ship it to you for free so this was a great experience great place to stop by 
it, it seems like it's small it seems like everything's crammed in together but overall man they had a lot of stuff when you start looking they did have a lot of stuff in stock and in store so let me show you guys the things that we did pick up at this comic book store the box says four spear but it's actually force ghost obi-wan kenobi and i thought he looked cool never seen this toy before so i thought it was a great find just to have it in our collection now this is a princess layout soap this was a 1981 product for consumers to have promoting the movie kind of like when you see tangerines by star wars or bananas or you know cauliflower packaging or waters it's, it's kind of like the same thing that I, I really thought it was unique now these magnets were two for five dollars but the gentleman at the store gave it to us for a dollar a piece and i thought they would look good in uh, my fridge or maybe other stuff that i can just you know attach them to so yes yeah, really cute star wars magnets now this is a case or a toy that I've been wanting for the past few years. Now this is a Darth Vader vintage toy case where you can put your vintage toys or your vintage loose toys. And overall this case on the inside looks great. I mean it's a little bit dusty right now but that's how I picked it up. But it, it just everything's functional. Unfortunately it's missing some of the stickers on the inside or some of the stickers are ripped. But I, I really enjoy the way this case looks and i like the fact that everything was working and nothing was broken on the inside so i'm very excited for this case it was only 15 dollars previously i've seen it for 40 dollars but i only paid 15 dollars at the store but before i leave i want to give you guys my thoughts on those three locations and honestly as a toy collector i really enjoyed mr wayne because they had a lot of stuff that i enjoyed and a lot of the stuff that my husband enjoyed not so much comics but if you're into comics, maybe Comic Collector might be a place for you. And if you want something in between comics and collectibles, maybe Top Cut Comics is also a place for you. So comment below, let me know which store do you guys enjoy the most and also which other stuff that I bought you really like. So with that, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And like always, can't wait to guys have you back here at Star Wars World Reviews.